Hey guys, this is Forsaken Reality here with the ninth episode of the Remnant Tutorial Series. In this episode, we will be setting up our projectile. We won't be using a line traced projectile, but rather a spawned projectile. So that we'll be able to do things like in Remnant, they have some projectiles that shoot arrows and knives that they can stick into the walls and thorns. So with this sort of projectile, we'll actually be able to do that. And it'll also allow us to do things like uh, bullet drop and different things like that rather than just line tracing. So without further ado, we will get into that. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go to our blueprints folder, create a new folder called projectiles. And in here we want to create a blueprint class. That's an actor, EP underscore master projectile and this will be your main projectile that all the children will be of so we'll create a blueprint for example bb underscore rifle projectile for now so then we have this so save those in our master projectile we want to add a few things. We're going to add a static mesh. Name that projectile mesh. We're going to add a collision capsule. We're going to take that off that. Projectile collision and a particle system. So now we have all three of these. We're gonna wanna size that down like that. Our projectile mesh. We'll use one of the bullets from the pack that we added over that are in our static meshes folder. So um, I'm just going to select the assault rifle bullet. Let's grab these in here. Right, let's save. And I'm also going to set the collision to uh, no collision on the bullet itself. Um. Or rotate at 90. It's going to test this. Oh, didn't want that. Might actually, uh, yeah, we're going to use a sphere collision, not a, uh, this collision. So switch quickly, just swap those out. So now we have our sphere collision here. Let's gonna set the size of that to 10. And our projectile uh, mesh, we're just gonna use the tr I'll look for a tracer. A few of them, and the assault rifle tracer will give us this beam of light. And I think there's actually some texture issues here. Uh, nope, actually it seems that that was only in my test project. Just gonna drag it into the level so I can see it. And we'll add a projectile movement component. That will give us our projectile settings that we can we can deal with. So we're gonna just set this for ten thousand for now. Just so we can actually see a projectile moving. And it's not moving. Okay, um 
Moment. Okay, for some reason it's not moving in the game view. But that won't matter because it will move once we actually shoot it off so you can actually see everything. Maybe it'll look reasonable it shoots off and it has some drag drop to it you can see it going down depending on the speed value you put here will determine how much it drops we're going to be setting it to like 50,000 when it's actually set up as a bullet um now that we have this done we're going to want to go to our mass projectile itself. We're going to replicate and replicate movement. And initial lifespan, we're going to set to three so that after three seconds it will delete itself. So that doesn't just go on forever. So that should be our projectile created right here. We're also going to want to go to our project settings, collision, and create a new object channel called projectile. I'm just going to set this to ignore by default. And Here we're going to set up some our collision for our projectile collision right here. So you must scroll down to the collision panel. And we're going to put custom collision enabled. And uh if that doesn't display, we're going to want to compile, save, and the projectile object type should show up now. Um, we're going to ignore these two. We're going to block these two. And that should be good for now. We're also going to go into our character. Change our capsule component to custom. We're going to ignore camera because we don't want a camera hitting. And we're going to ignore pump. We're going to ignore the projectile because we don't want the projectile to hit this. We actually want it to hit our mesh. So we will go into here. Custom. We'll turn on overlap events. Um, and we'll set the projectile to overlap the player. Now in here, first of all, we can just remove these for now. Go to our projectile collision. Um, begin overlap. We're going to check for our uh, authority, so this will be our server, and this will be remote, everyone else basically. Yes, it's the only one to run on our server. To master. And the server is wet sent, we'll send it, everything else out to the client, like all the information that actually needs to be displayed, like the, the visuals. Things like that. And I'm just going to print string here. Let's 
slap this guy in the world. Um, actually, I'm not actually going to be able to shoot the projectile off yet. I don't think blueprints projectile. Okay, yeah, the projectile is shooting. Let's see if the projectile actually hit the player. And see server hello. That means the projectile hit the player. So that like, because when you hit play, the projectile starts its movement, launches, hits the player, continues on. But uh, for now, we're just gonna yeah, we'll leave that like that. So that's our projectile done. In the next episode, we'll be setting up the shooting. So basically, I have it set up right here. I just don't want to run this video on too long. So basically, I'll actually turn on the game audio because I added the sound. And I'll also be working on, right after this, the next video, I'm also going to work on the spine rotations because you notice you can only aim one way. We'll have our aim offsets using visual animations there. Shooting in. Getting the outie. So yeah, that's about everything for this episode. In the next episode, that's what we will be setting up. Um, if you found this video helpful and want to see more, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video uploads. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, feel free to leave those in comment section below or join my discord using the link in the description. Uh, thank you and I'll see you all in the next episode.